Rise and shine. And give God the glory. What is that? This is a bit family and we are doing another unboxing video today. Disclaimer. Oh, uh, very, oh. Very, very shouty. Sorry. Um today you are treated to my no makeup debut. Um we've had this unboxing planned, we literally couldn't have fit it in any other time. Uh I am off sick today on account of a small case of vom. Um, but we're gonna power through because that's what happens in show business. Guess so. Yeah. And as you can see, we're all nice and illuminated today because we bought ourselves some fancy new toys. Shout out to Holly from Theme Park Nomads for the recommendation. Yeah. Perfect for seeing just how beautiful I am with no makeup on. Very true, very true. But now the quality of the videos are gonna be better. So that's that's the bit where you step in and assure me that I'm still pretty. Anyway, on to today's unboxing. What have we got in store today, Em? You don't actually know, because I ordered it. So you don't actually know, do you? I'm still waiting to be told I'm pretty. Okay, you're pretty. But you don't actually know what we've ordered today. No, I don't. No, I don't. So um, I'll tell I'll tell them a bit about what we've ordered. I mean, good, because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got two boxes today. Let's bring them up. Let's bring them up. I am, There is a reason I've got a knife. Two boxes. Pretty much the same size. Same size? Same, same size? Same, size. same, size. same shape. C shape. C shape. <laughs> this is going well. Don't make me laugh. I can't. So um, basically, this is a game that was released back in beginning of December last year, uh, and a local games company, some may know the name, Steamforged Games, produced this game. It's had amazing reviews since it's come out. Uh, it was a Kickstarter to begin with, uh, and it's been released to the general public back in uh, uh, late November, early December last year. And the game is God Tear. And like I said, the, the reviews have been amazing. Um, one of my colleagues at work says it's a must-have. Um, so I picked up the two start sets. Um, I don't know if they're going to be the same in terms of gameplay, but I do know the miniatures that you get inside are, uh, are different. You've, you've not just ordered the same thing twice, have you? I, I may have ordered the same thing twice. Who knows? Let's crack into these bad boys and see what we've got inside, yeah? <laughs> Finally managed to get into that box. I hope you enjoyed that little jump cut section there. But we have God Tier, the Borderlands starter set. And what do you have there, Em? So you've got it out of uh, all the wrapping. Still quicker than you. I have God Tier, Eternal Glade starter set. Ooh, let's move this out of the way. Put them together. Look how nice these look. So like I said... I've got a thing as well. Oh, that's that's pricey. Oh yeah, we should probably mention that um, we had to order these from two different gaming stores. So, um, just because it's pretty much sold out everywhere. So this one comes from Chaos Cards, which we order quite a lot from. Uh, and this one here comes from a site called Total Cards, which we, we actually haven't ordered much from in the past. I don't think I've ordered anything from those guys in the past. So Packed it really nicely. Yeah. Shout out to Chaos Cards and Total Cards for sending these out today. Um, and shout out to Steamforge Games for making such an incredible game. Right, let's delve into them and see what we get inside, shall we? We shall. And there they are, the two star sets from Steamforge Games. Local lads and lasses. Um, it's always good to support a local company when they're making uh, cool games like this. Like I said, I've not played it before, but I've heard a lot about it. So let's uh, crack them open one by one, see what we've got inside, and yeah, talk a bit about it. Which one do you want to start with? This one. Right, let's move this one out of the way then for now. Uh, I'm going to put that here. 
Perfect. Right. Ooh, I just moved the table. Sorry. So, tier number one. So, they're uh, not going to be able to see that. Don't they swoosh it around on a manky table. Let's look. Even gods can die. As they fall, only their divine essence remains. Great crystal meteors, known as god tears, raining from the skies to land in the mortal realm. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Throwing players into the thick of it, right from the start of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> okay, try that bit again. Throwing players into the thick of it right from the start of the game, momentum swings dynamically between each player as the two sides clash until the winner emerges. Combat is smooth and fluid, with separate phases each turn that allow players to zoom out of the plot in their strategy and then jump straight back in as the fighting begins again. What we get in here, we get Finvar, Lord of Mirages. Ooh, mysterious. We get... Titus the Disgraced. Three Shadow Sentinels, three Glory Seekers, two banners, a rule book, a double sided battlefield, ten dice, twenty four ob object hexes, six profile cards, three dashboards, and eighty five tokens. You got all that? That sounds like quite a lot in this one, one box. So let's open it up and see what's inside, shall we? Just as painful as the first box. Ooh! <laughs> oh, oh wow! That's, that's huge. Wow! And let's move the box out. Out, the out the way. Oh my what god! What on earth have you got? Do you right. remember yesterday when you were like, I have oh, no money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not what I was going to say. Oh my god! Say. It just keeps going. Do you remember? No, it wasn't last year. I'm telling you, like earlier today, you were like, should we have a quick game? It only takes an hour. So, I, I don't believe you. As you can see here, a cool double sided battle map. So, there must be different scenarios you can play or different missions. But that is so nice and detailed. Wow. I'm loving this game already. We've not even played it yet. Right, what, what else do we get? We well, get let's shuffle this over so it's a nice like, little background. Get a rule book. Let's have a look. Nice and colourful. Apparently it's really easy to play as well. Um, nice and detailed. Like Steamforge games are well known now for making class games. Obviously they've done Guild Ball, they've done Dark Souls the game, they've done Resident Evil the game. They also do that um, Dungeons and Dragons but for pets. Do you know what I was showing you? Like the dogs, the dogs and cats playing Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I really want that. Uh, and they also did the Critical Role miniatures that we got uh, a couple of months back. Nice and detailed rule book there. What are those? I'm impatient. I want to get everything out. I'm guessing these are... Ooh, oh, the tokens. These are our tokens, I'm assuming. So how many sheets have we got there? Three. Three sheets of tokens. Same Ooh, I'm popping them out by accident. Same amount, but slightly different design. Okay. Mm. Oh, I also picked out... I can't pick them up. <laughs> Let's give you a hand there. <laughs> what are these? Don't know. Cards. Maybe cards. they're at the... Obje did we get objective, objective cards? Objective cards, yes. Ah. We're so professional. Oh no, they don't like objective cards though. Oh, oh no, phantom. Mm, I don't know. Help. <laughs> Guys, please. Why do we keep doing unboxings of games we clearly know nothing about? Oh, these are character cards. Be ready for the most important bit. The plastic bag! An empty bag. Yeah. Which presumably will be for these dice here, which. Oh, these are. These are some nice dice. Everyone who watches this channel will know by now that I am a absolute focus, <laughs> an absolute sucker for some nice dice. Is there, is there a word for like another dice? They are glorious. Let's pop them there for cool. now. And let's slowly but surely zoom in and have a look at some of these miniatures, shall we? Now, as we know, Steamforge games are well known for their miniatures. You saw that in the Critical Role unboxing we did a couple of months ago. Um, and these are, wow, wow, these are amazing, wow, look at the detail. So this is Finvar, who is one of the champions in God Tear. So essentially you have a champion and then like minions. So that is one of the champions in this box, Finvar. Let's have a look at one of the minions who are on his side. 
Just did a quick search, by the way, to see if there's a proper term for a lover of dice. There isn't an official one, but someone has suggested the word, I'm going to butcher this, philostradually. Phil being loving and astragaloi, uh, knuckle bones, which of course is like old oh, dice. Okay. So there you go. You are philostragaly. <laughs> Yeah, Fair enough. I'm sure that'll catch on real quick, won't it, guys? And as you can see with all these minions as well, every single one has a different design. They've 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 done this proper. Like, really, the detail is incredible. Really cool. As for the other champion in this one, um, what was his name now? <laughs> That's really bad that I can't remember it. it would it be an eight-bit family review if we remembered everything properly, wouldn't it? Right, let's open up the cards because it'll tell us a bit more about who we've got here. Professionalism at its finest. Professional lizard? Yes, professional lizard. You're a professional lizard. Ah, this one is Titus. Who is pretty badass. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say badass. Okay. Badass is cool. Okay. Titus wielding that giant two-handed sword there. And then these are his minions who are known as the Glory Seekers. Just get a closer look at these sculpts. Now, these can be painted. I've seen examples of these that have been painted. You can either leave them in the standard colours, because the colours actually mean something. So the colour of the miniature represents like their attributes. So there are various sets, like add-on sets that you can get for God Tear. Um, and the colours mean certain things, like alliances and attributes. So you can either leave them in the colours they are, or you can paint them. Question. Of course. What's this called? God tear. How do you know it's not God tear? Do you know, I was thinking this as well. So, if we've been saying it's God tear, <laughs> God tear and it is actually <laughs> God tear, then please do not slate us because that'd be, that'd be so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. It's what? It's called what? You tell me, what's the game? We had to search this because I was like, right, should we actually make sure we know what this game's called? All this time, Matt's been calling it God tear. Can't wait for God Tear. I've ordered God Tear. When are we gonna do our God Tear unboxing? What's it called? God Tear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not reshooting this entire video. <laughs> for God's sake! And we are back because someone who will remain nameless forgot to uh, charge the camera after the Nottingham road trip the other day. Um, but yeah, on to the second box of God Tear, not God Tear, which we've been saying for the past 10 minutes. Yeah, in the past half an hour we've been watching Steamforge Games' YouTube channel and found out it's actually called God Tear instead of God Tear, so we do apologise about that. We'll just have a look down in the comments below and there'll just be people like, Ah, you got the name wrong, you're so unprofessional, which we've been getting on some of our videos recently, which is hilarious. You're a bit salty. Oh well. Ish. We've had, we've had one-ish comment. But, come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's unbox this. Ooh, I like this! Give that here. Okay, you can you can look after that, go on and fold for, that. For the record, we've had one single comment that was, I mean, fair, but just could have been phrased a bit more constructively. And some of us have taken it to heart. I haven't taken anything to heart. Right, go on. I mean, they're not wrong though, are we? Are they? We are a bit on the mm. unprofessional side. Ooh, so this is cool. different to the last battle mat that we got. This yeah, one. Different from. Different from the last <laughs> battle mat that we've got. This one's all kind of like scorched barren earth like on this side. Deserty, like baked, and we've got like these little cacti. Mm, that's, that's very cool. cool. I like this side though. What's on the other side? I don't know. I just noticed it when we were unboxing it. This is the side that I'm drawn to. Ooh. This is pretty. It's all like lush, like moss and ferns, and I like the. So again, same as the last box, comes with the rule book. I presume. Well, the rules are going to be the same. It's the exact same game. Um, I presume all that's different really is the scenarios and mm. the champions, um, and obviously their like their minions. Um, but yeah. I think this is going to be the one we start with because I'm very drawn to the um, to like the uh, necromancer kind of character here. 
Mm. Uh, and you're very drawn to this druidic Oof, kind anything of Anything that's like nature druidic. Anything like that. I'm, I'm all about that. That's, I mean, I play a druid in D&D. So in this box we have Nia versus Morrigan, who are the champions. Oh yeah. Um, same kind of setup that we got with the um, the last the other starter set. You get these little cards over here. I'm some more these are a similar sort of thing. All the tokens. Some more tokens. Yeah. Can't have enough tokens. Uh, we don't get a plastic bag with this one. Oh, we do. I throw it on the floor. <gasps> Get that plastic Sacrilege. bag. Um, but yeah, we're going to zoom in once again and check out these it's absolutely cool. Like yeah, they were. I unlocked them. You unlocked them? <laughs> I um, <laughs> unbagged them. them. Unbagged them. So you better we'll, pick all them up, though. That's what's going to keep it nice. We'll start with uh, Nia, who is the... She looks very druidic. Very, very cool. I'm just being when nosy. When she focuses. I'm just being nosy. There we go. Look at that sculpt on that. That is... Oh, these are cool. They're so lightweight. Yeah, they are. And I don't think I'm going to paint these. I think I'm going to leave them just green, yeah. red, blue, yellow. Let's have a look at some sorry, of these. I've uh, pinched, I've pinched sorry, the quartzlings, these are called. And these are like her little. Oh, this is nice. Her little minions. Can, can I paint her? Would you trust me to have a go? Maybe. That That's sorry. <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> Um, the quartzlings are all very quite similar. I like them. Um, but yeah. They make me think of um, Prison Break from Skylanders. And then we have the uh, like the Lich King, the, the Necromancer. Ooh, the Morrigan. 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 I have a feeling that's like an old Irish word and we're saying it wrong. What, well, like we've been saying god tier wrong for hey, uh, the You past can 20 take minutes. all the blame for that. But that is. I'm sure it's like Moria or something. I'm amazing. Gonna, I'm gonna make that up. Love this character. Definitely going to be playing as this guy because he looks so cool. And let's have a look at some of his uh, some of his little minions. Who are the Cold Bones, I believe they're called? Cold Bones, yeah. Wow. Wow. Just so much detail. Um, oh, and uh, these are all slightly different. Yay! I love a bit of variation when it comes to miniatures. There's nothing worse than having the same miniature over and over again for a uh, a game like this. Ooh, this one's got an axe. I do like axes. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited over the smallest things, as you can see. If we had a look at this dude. Yeah, we did. We pulled, we pulled him out, remember? I'm going to have a look. I'm going to have a look. Okay. Oh, he's cool. Uh, but yeah. Just, the starter sets are very much the same uh, in terms of what you get them in for value for money. It just depends who you want to play as, I guess. Um, do you want to start boxing it back up? Yeah, but I need the, the, the very important plastic bag. It just depends on who you want to play as, I guess. And the card one. What does it depend on? Who you want to play as, I guess. <laughs> um, like, obviously, this one appeals to me and Anne because whenever we play as anyone in like RPG games or like board games or tabletop games, I'll always pick the undead guy and you'll always pick the weirdo that likes trees Oi. and plants and spirits, I mean, which is fair, uh, that's, just, that's me. pretty Isn't much I am what, the weirdo who what these characters trees. are. Um, but yeah, in terms of value for money, as I said earlier, um, they retail for about 40 to 45 pounds online. Um, we got these for £27 each. I'm seriously impressed. To be honest, really, though, even really if you good. bought them at like 40 quid, you get a lot in that's there. That's still not that bad. Um, the games last between 45 minutes to an hour, apparently. I, for the record, do not believe this. We will let you guys know when we have our first um, game attempt of it. through it. Because um, I don't think for one second it's going to take us a mere hour. But yeah, we'll box that back up. So yeah, that's both the boxes of God Tear there. Both starter what sets. What are they called? Oh, it's called God Tear. <laughs> oh my god. This is the most unprofessional unboxing video I on YouTube. I genuinely didn't think we could Hands do down. one less professional. Oh. But yes. You've, you've outdone yourself. God Tear, starter set number one <laughs> and starter set number two. They are both the same game, but you get different characters in them. You can either go with the Borderlands, which has this cool like assassin character and this cool like knight looking character or you can go with eternal glade if you like things a bit darker and fancy playing there's like a necromancer kind of character and the druidic kind oh, of character like, a weirdo, like, like me. Uh, but yeah definitely go pick these up um there are loads of um 
uh, what are they called like spin-off packages, uh, packs? booster packs where you can get more heroes. I think there's like ten other heroes that are out at the minute. Um, so if I enjoy the game, I'm going to go pick up some more heroes because the miniatures are wicked and they'll look cool in the collection. Fair um, but yeah, definitely check it out. They seem like cool games. Uh, yeah, time to give a final opinion, I guess, on them. So. That will do it from this episode of uh, 8-Bit Family. Um, definitely go and check out God Tier, <laughs> not God Tear, <laughs> because it uh, it looks it looks like a. <laughs> Are you done? Let's try that again, shall we? So. <laughs> Um, if you're after a new game, go and check out God Tier from Steamforge Games. The miniatures are absolutely gorgeous. Even if you just buy them for the battle mats, the play mats are just phenomenal. Um, and it looks like a really, really good game to sink your teeth in for £27. Um, I'm hoping that once we've played it tomorrow night, I get hooked on it because I want to buy more of these miniatures. Uh, and I'm sure you can find more information about the game itself on steamforgegames.com. Um, they also produce games, like we said earlier, like Guild Ball, which is another fun game to play. And I also want to get my hands on the Dark Souls board game set, because that looks really, really fun as well. You are really open for sponsorship, aren't you? Steamforge Games, please sponsor us. We love you guys. We're literally, we're based 10 minutes from your office. So even if we can come and say hi one day, that'd be we're nice. We're super professional. And we didn't get the name of your game wrong. <laughs> But yeah, that'll do it from this episode of 8-Bit Family. If you've liked what you've seen in this video, don't forget to hit that ding a ling ling dong bell and hit the subscribe button as well to keep up to date with everything 8-Bit Family related. Yeah, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your evening, folks. Bye! <laughs> Are you still laughing about the lid making a funny noise? Yeah. <laughs> Such a child. <laughs>